if he, so what did they say after that? They was like, of course he is the leader. He's taking credit for the fall of the Super Bowl so many times. If he took credit for that, then leave me alone. If yep. he didn't, then he's not the leader you say he is. So either way, the only thing I'm saying is get your foot off my damn neck. I can't breathe, G. Welcome back to hey. And then past that rope, that's the was the hood. Fuck the hop. He said, oh, you want a shot? I said, uh, yeah. I'm in the city, fuck me, now I got fucking city. Light it up, light it up. Welcome to the Raw Room. That's what really, like, kills me. When they speak about the running back position and shit now, it's like, dog, so you, you, you act that, they so so I'm about to say, if you in the game, game like, so in the fight of the game, like, come on, man. That right. shit so has to do with everything. Nah, yeah. With facts. everything. The so running back like, are definitely, bro, back in the day, are definitely nah, in bro, the they, game, motherfucker. Nah, quick. like, but, yeah, yeah. But throughout the game, it's like, man, you really, you like those those body blows in boxing. It's just right. like, I'm being, like, the defenders ain't, they, like, you can lose a play, but you're not scared of little receivers. Right. Like the quarterback right. not going to physically impose his will on you. Like right. the, the running back is that hammer. It's right. like that's that. The enforcer like the old, for the offense. The O line is like the enforcers. The right. running back is like like um or the hitman type. Yeah, shit, like that right? hitman. It's mm-hmm. like that 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 bully. It's just like no, nah, you gonna feel me. Like you gonna you're not gonna mm-hmm. want to play out here. Right. Having to deal with me on a regular basis. Like you kind of the one position that can really. Really, really enforce your will yeah, in that way. It's, physically. That, it's making them quit. Like making right. them quit. Right. Yeah, taking yeah. that fight out of them. Like exactly. I'm just gonna keep coming at you, coming at you. By the uh-huh. time they. It's third and fourth quarter. You're not gonna like. You're, you're not, not gonna, gonna, gonna want to deal with him. You're not gonna want to tackle him. Right. That, that's Adrian Peterson to a T. You're not gonna yeah. want to deal with him. You're not gonna want to tackle him for four quarters. Right. Yeah. Nah, like yeah. Derrick Henry and those guys, man. Yeah. It's like. Marshawn Lynn said the same thing. I'm just gonna hit you in the face. Over and 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 over. You ain't gonna do that shit, nobody. Niggas for real. On God. For real. For real. On God. You right. And so yeah, that's offense, and defense, and a team like that. And then when other things happen, it's like, 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 like. Like you can't get lost in, in what that took. That was that was a full that was a full um thing. Right. Mm. Mm. Damn. Losing the Super Bowl, bro. I know the I know the pain of that. Damn. Oh, that, but yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't both of y'all know. I don't pain know, I don't oh. know like, you know, the fulfillment of winning a champ a championship. Yeah. And you do, but it's different yeah. when you get to play, play in the game. There. Yeah, yeah, it And is. so, like, I know I, wholeheartedly what you went through, you know man. what I'm saying, losing a Super Bowl and, and yeah. actually being out there fighting I, the whole game. Yeah, exactly. And I, I felt the confetti rain both times. The first time it was for It was us. for you. And, and the other second time, like, time it was like, that. <laughs> yeah. And I still didn't see what it felt. I'm like, damn, G. That shit like, hurt. That's the worst feeling because it's like, is there is there that anything you could have done to make sure, like, this ain't the case? And, oh and to be God. real, that's what, like... That's what keeps me so solid and sound in myself. When it came to that 2010 and where we lost, it's like, man, I did absolutely every single thing I possibly could have did. Right. Mm-hmm. So I don't feel bad for myself. It's like, nigga, if I like, I couldn't have did more than right. I did. You know and what nigga, I'm saying? And niggas, niggas think it's a like, it's a joke. They get the ah, you lost the Super Bowl, this, that, and the third. Like, nah. niggas really be you put like, your bro, life in that shit. you you yeah. can shut the fuck up right now because you ain't you ain't get close. No, right. and I ain't gonna lie, to man. I'm, I'm I'm I'll be ready to like fight about that shit. Like at, at a point in time, like at a point real, at early on, at, no, at a point in time, yeah. and, and especially like for me because of how it happened, there was people that would like I bet say really kind of try and play with me. And you know, right. fans when it's like when it's beyond that line, it's like they kind of like want to push and kind of almost want to see you lose your shit, right? Mm. And it's like and so it's like it ain't even I ain't stupid. It ain't what you saying. I'm like, why you think you can play with me like that, right? You know that, what I'm that is the biggest. Like, why do you think you can play? Part, right. Like, you know what I'm just saying? Just because wasn't playing when they was, it was never playing in his life at all. It's like, man, I did what I did coming from Chicago, like North Suburbs and Scully. It's like, yo, I was never playing about anything that I'm doing. This dude buy a ticket in the seat. What make him think he can play with me? Oh God! Mm. Right, mm. something that I literally put my heart and soul in. Like, I'm away nah, from my for family real. for. 85 percent of the year, I didn't baby. alter my damn body like playing this game. Right. I'm seeing doctors like alter my like, mind, all, all kind of like, X rays and shit, yeah. and then somebody just like want to be on the couch like joking. Nah, yeah, that shit not. That like, shit not that cool. Shit, nah, for that real. shit not cool. Game. It's like nigga, go to Target, get some pads. They sell pads at Target, don't they? Oh, God. <laughs> go to Target, oh, God, get some pads. Hey, man, man, man wait for like, the, get off uh, that. The, the pros versus Amazon, the Joes, Amazon. volume nah. two in this bitch. <laughs> nah, for What's real. Up? Nah, them Joes ain't got out of hand, G. I'm up because out of hand now. Like, nah, they, they is. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, they are, they are kind of like you know creating sports because I don't know how y'all feel about like flag football. Bro, uh, it's, it's like it's, it's like they're but like it ain't even that. It, but it ain't even sports. that. Those like the motherfuckers that that talk like. 
They really think because they watch you play that they could do it better than you because they watch nah, like they watch real. you do it and you you make a mistake or whatever. Right. Yeah, and then they yeah. come at you like, oh well you suck. Well you can well you come no you, you come, come do here. better. Please try. No, exactly. Please try. You come and I don't come know where that boldness better. comes from. Like it's it's kind of brand new at a time. And even like at a, you had to kind of like, even when I grew up like watching NFL films and all of that, man, football was so revered. Yeah. Like those guys oh, been fighting through yeah. those injuries and all that. And I'm just like, and even when when you saw people. And they'd be like, oh, my God, you play for the team. There was this reverence. And I'm like, what happened and where did that go? Where social now media, cats are seeing, social media. That's what I'm where saying. Where did respect? Like, so, social internet, media where they just sit there the acting like it's a, it's a joke. Keyboard thugs, a place to have a voice. Okay. Man, but it's thugs but in real life, so what happened? Question, though. Question, <laughs> when that shit me. Yeah, yeah what, facts. Hey, man, my man right here. What you do for? You put hands on. It's for a living, for G. For a living, bro. For a living. And somebody want to play. It's like, all right, like. Come on, I got, you, I got, you don't realize what I can really do to you. No, exactly. Give me some clarification, though, because, like. You said something in particular about like people saying that they think that they can do better than you, or just talking reckless. No, nah, talking okay, crazy. This, this be the one. This be the one. The goddamn Titans old line, so I could go out there and block somebody <laughs> right. better than they could. Okay, I'm good at it. I, I could right. catch that wide open fucking pass, yeah. bro. He didn't get his ass out. You wouldn't even get back there behind though. him. Stop playing. But, oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't get back behind him. But, but, but I mean, do y'all not feel like that fans don't have a right at all to say anything about no, no, how a team is playing? It's not at all. It's not oh, that. No, they could comment on this stuff, but when they start, when it gets personal, right? When they start like, okay, making yeah. shit yeah. personal. When they, when they cross the line, there's, there's a like that. invisible line for like, what? Come on, I mean, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, like, when you're like beyond that line, getting where personal, disrespect, where it gets becomes disrespectful. Getting personal, saying that you can do it better, all that right. dumb stuff. I get that, but like, I mean, like mm. fans, like you know, especially if if they rep for the team. For instance, yeah. like that yeah. one fan in um, in New York, the the guy that uh, that teeth fell out. Fell yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. I feel like there was like a, another fan that said they, they was talking to uh, the QB and said, um, "Yeah, yo, these these tickets cost too much." Blah, 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 something like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, I like, I, I just feel like, bro. I, that's I mean, again, no, I'm be, not, that's, that's, that's being fine. a fan is one that's, thing. That's, that's fine. Yeah. Being a fan is one. Okay. Thing. Saying being that, critical that's fine. Your team. Even, even saying like telling me I suck. That ain't. Yeah. Being critical yeah. of your yeah. team is yeah. okay. But there's a yeah. limit. There's a line that can be crossed. Yeah, yeah. That's where we like, bro, you're doing too much. I nah, for real. And there's this kind of space where they acting like, I, I really feel like they're forgetting that we're the experts in the game, like in the sport. Yeah, we're professionals. They, we're, we're professionals. We're the top Where they're feeling like, how do you believe shit. you up there and understand it? You wasn't even in the fucking facility when we did this game plan. Right. You don't even know if that was my guy or not. You right. didn't see what the hell our board was. That's Buddy right there. Yeah. Like, at what point did they become so so pro, so knowledgeable that they know more than the people that's actually like in the game? I feel like it's always been like that. The only reason why no. you see it... Now, listen, listen no, to me. Listen to me. Okay. I, listen to me. Okay. The, the only reason uh, why... I, at the bar, when they was at the bar. People, on their own. I, people have always been talking shit. But <laughs> with, 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 to your point, when social yeah. media came out, you had to see it a little bit more. That's yeah, really exactly. what it is. There's a lot yeah. of shit that they'll say online that if they were to see you face to face... Nah, couldn't possibly. Come on now. Nah, couldn't possibly. Nah, a lot of stuff, possibly. a lot of the common disrespectful yeah. shit, all the... The all the like, nah. say the Twitter fingers, all that stuff that they nah. say right. on these yeah. boards and social media. Yeah. I they guarantee yeah, you, all of it. They would see you face. Yeah, they face probably face. shut the fuck yeah. up. They couldn't stand yeah. in front of yeah. you they and try the, and they they fake the bully you in real life. Like, okay, I feel like, it. Yeah. Like, you got to feel feel exactly. And how that's good. Fan disrespect. critique, fan critique though. That's is that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's part of. That's part of it. That's part. That's part of it. It's the disrespect. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. When it gets when it gets disrespectful, that's the point to where that's where. That's what he's talking about. But it's like, it's, yeah, getting booed and like, telling, like yeah. that's all for, like, it's yeah. part of the game. Yeah. yeah. yeah I guess yeah. that's what I was saying. But I, I see what you're saying about like getting, yeah. like when it, like, all right, yo, like now you, you're getting person. You know what's funny? When that's that, my manhood. Like when shit. it's kind of gotten there, it's funny. The worst ill I didn't ever wish for somebody who was mm-hmm. talking crazy mm-hmm. was that they would be in my exact shoes. Okay. Whoever you are, whatever your body size, I wish they put the exact same pads on you <laughs> and you standing eight yards behind the quarterback and they got to blow that thing. Good luck trying to make it through the first quarter. Nigga, the first <laughs> drive. Oh God. Whoever, I wish I could put whoever talking yeah, crazy come, come do it. in my Stra- pass Suit on up, that buddy, field. And they're like, no, nah, there ain't no, ain't no slowdown. Ain't Suit no, up. you know they don't play. Come do All it. All right, do this exact same shit. You going to the hospital. Right. Your ass going straight to the no, hospital. Do you it. can't, you can't fake play <laughs> running back unless you an actual running. You can't right. stand back there nah, yeah, and play that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't been at practice. I didn't be in the scout team, nigga. No, and like, that shit, nah, sweet. <laughs> no, it's not. They were like, JC, get back there and run the run the goddamn. 
Boom. The first yeah, yeah. play. I'm through the through the little B gap, yeah, yeah. cut back, boop, ball no, out. I life. said, God, <laughs> boy, for real. That this shit, shit not sweet nah, at for real. all. So yeah. putting some respect on, on your name. Earlier this year, you got inducted to the uh Fighting Alana Hall of Fame. That's a big Congrats on that. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate that. In the building. So so talk about that because Hall of Fame type. You know, recognition that's, that's is big. not HOF. That's yeah. big. That's it don't matter. Big. It don't matter where it's at. Hall of Fame, anything is Facts. big. Facts. Dog. That um, man, that just felt like like a long time coming. Yeah. Um, where I'm like, damn, man. When uh, when they called me, and even like it, it, it took me a minute to even like process, like, settle in, yeah, and sink in. Because it, I'm not even gonna lie. Where it's like uh, like because even after um the Super Bowl and 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 shit and how my career ended, it felt like. Almost like where there was people trying to like make me a pariah in a sense, right? Make you like so, the so bad get, guy, type. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And so getting that call, I literally felt like I literally felt like I went from football hell to football heaven. No, nah, yeah, you know, where, like sure. for real, where it's they just blessing. like they called sure. me and like sainted me and said, right. "No, nah, like you, one of our greatest ever." And to even think like the fighting line our history that it's kind of crazy where it's like like with um, Red Grange. Well, I'm not sure if y'all yeah. know where he was kind of like yeah, yeah, yeah where yeah. where like um, he's he's kind of seen as like. The, the 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 first like superstar mm-hmm. of the game because the game was still being established. Right when he got drafted into the NFL, it was still the AFL and the NFL, yep. and people were trying to figure out which one was, um, which one was the was the real game. Right, and mm-hmm. when Red Grange went to the NFL, that's when it kind of answered the questions where they were like, "No, nah, this is the real league. This has the best players." Right, and, and where they say he was the first one where there was like people taking buses, planes, trains trying coming to get out to the and game gro- and, and droves <sighs> trying to see him play, and at that same time. Where like you know George Hallis, mm-hmm. who's who's all like like one of the like main founders of the league, like George yeah. Hallis coming from Illinois, and mm. Red Grange and Dick Buckus, and just right. like mm-hmm. to see and when those articles was coming out, my name in that same vein, I'm like, damn man, like that. Oh yeah, um, that's that means fo- everything. Hall of Fame is football, that's football that's heaven. I, no, you said yeah. it right. Exactly. You said it right. That's, that's football, football heaven. heaven yeah, the Hall of Fame. Um, Facts. So it's like, like no, that heaven. that really means like like everything. Gee, I can't even. Right. Um, I, I'm still allowing that, and even seeing the younger guys. And my teammates and the whole shit. Right. Um, was it nah, so? It they, they had like a, a ceremony. What was that? Uh? Yeah, yeah, big ceremony. Um, deep. It was at the um, the State Farm Center, um, the the basketball arena. Okay. Um, on Illinois campus, yeah. and um, uh, getting inducted with suited and booted. I see your boot. <laughs> what is that boot near? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, they got the little um, the little yeah. prom flower. Yeah. <laughs> um, who else was no, in that yeah, I mean, uh, was, was it just you or did it have a few? Uh, no, there was 12 um, inductees. Okay. And uh, there was Kenny Battle, um, part of the Flying Illini from uh, Hoops and Basketball. Okay. There was uh, Jack Trudeau, um, oh, yeah, who was a quarterback. Yeah, uh, no Jack. Quarterback. Um, there's uh, Asia Evans okay. um, and, and uh, Asia Nicole, and I think her name's last name's Casley. Um, but just like even seeing their stories, hearing what they did and being a part of like Illinois athletics. Right. Um, damn, like forever, like ongoing. Um, that 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 really meant a lot. Oh, that's mm-hmm. a, that's a good that's yeah. a yeah. nice little list. Yeah. And I think um in the hundred and thirty three years of the school, um there's like a hundred and twenty twenty some people. Like so over hundred and thirty years, there's a oh, hundred and twenty wow. some Damn. people in the in the Hall of Fame. Oh wow! Oh, they don't even they not even yeah, doing so it's, this it's, every it's year. Real. No, it's, yeah, it's, it's real. Nah, bro. Yeah, Mm-mm. yeah, it's very mm. rare. You can't get in. You didn't do <laughs> enough. You didn't do enough. I'm pretty. I'm, I'm, I am curious. I mean, because I'm pretty sure, like, obviously, you're on, on the field. Accolades are amazing, but I mean, did they take mm-hmm. into consideration off the field things as well? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, kind of the, the just the it. positive notoriety you brought to the university through, yeah. mm-hmm. through your representation and everything. And I was, I was academic all Big Ten, and low key for one semester, I was academic all American. I went crazy oh, in school. Shit. I got like. I got like a three seven five or something. That <laughs> is, that, I was always three zero, but I went crazy. And that's was, some hard was, shit to do. Yeah, man. and was an academic all American. Like that's some up. hard to be an all American on the football field and yeah, in and the all. classroom. Is yeah. harder than motherfuckers mm. think. What would uh, you really? studying? I got to ask. Man, sport, recreation, sport, and tourism. Sports. What you yeah, mean? Major in ball. I always got to ask. Major in ball, bro. Sports administration. My nigga, for real, because they be getting my damn my 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 um. My what is it called? Your my major? Uh, my major yeah. wrong mm-hmm. because I because I wanted to go on community recreation for real for real community recreation. That's fine because growing up my mom's a youth minister. Yeah, mm-hmm. mom's a youth minister. So I grew up in the church. Grew community. up community doing programs in Absolutely. the community. Right. So in the RSC, I'm like, no, I want to major in community recreation and do programs like like Nino Brown. <laughs> <Some> <laughs> shit, do programs some... for the kids in the community. Don't got nowhere to be because right. I remember when I was a shorty at the um park, Lee Wright Park, and we called them Skittles. They used to have I don't know if this ever like if y'all had this. Where for a period of time, it was for like two summers. 
they used to have older kids that worked for the park district and they come in these really cool shirts and they go to the playgrounds and they just have like bags full of like balls and little hockey goals and nets and they'd show you and teach you how to play. And it was the rawest shit ever. That's like, so you, you just had a park, like a public really park. That's like that's a... And you had a, like, you had a full, like, like helper, like, supporter in your right. play. Like, they'd be like, oh, you can play this game like this. They referee. That's and I'm like, damn, that's so raw. That's, that's like a, that's, that's like a yeah. YMCA community center yes. type. But just yeah. like shit, but you had the park the, and you yeah. could just go and pop in and pop out. Y'all like trying to hoop. Y'all trying to play ball. Y'all Yeah, you fall off a bike. Is somebody there, like, helping you? I'm like, damn, it's crazy. Somebody come over and be like, be like, what the hell? What y'all doing? Well, we, <laughs> yeah. we playing the... Um, yeah. what, no, that's the not with fair. The net, you got the, yeah. With the net spike. We playing spike ball. Spike said, ball. Damn, ball. I don't know about Can you spike teach ball. me? Ball. Yeah, we going to get some spike ball on. Yes. I got you, bro. You exactly. Okay. That's live. Exactly. Yeah. So that's, that's, what, that's, that's like the, the new age four square. You know, we have four square. Uh, they got four spike square. ball. Uh-huh. Nah, no, yeah. spike ball. Spike ball different. Spike ball. Yeah, spike ball is a whole different. Okay. four square. Yeah, community recreation. Oh, man. That's live. Yeah, I'm old. Remember, I'm 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 aging myself. You know, y'all like to call me old. I'm dead. And I ain't even Trying to be young out here, they wild. So, <laughs> I'm straight. Big fat. So I'm so straight. Just quick, just quick. So on the end of the career, you made the decision to retire early. Yes. Which for a lot of motherfuckers, this ain't never been mm-hmm. in the shoes, ain't never stepped a foot in the facility, yeah. put the pads on ever. Like it's yeah. a big decision to make. But Absolutely. everybody that plays when some when you know one of your teammates be like, "Shit, bro, mm-hmm. I think I'm done with this shit," and yeah. you look at that nigga and be like, "For real, bro." And he'd be like, yeah. yeah. You'd be like, well, shit, that's what's up, fool. Like, that's what's up. Yeah, because you yeah. know you know what it's the end of. You, exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, you know what it takes to be a part of this shit, and then you also know it takes yeah. so much more to walk away from it under your own, like, mm. yeah, I think I'm Delicious. just, I'm, I'm done. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, if up. you cool with it, yeah. Niggas have no, 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 you know what I'm saying, no other option but to respect and be like, yeah, I mean, shit, bro, that's what's up. Yeah, like, yeah. I respect you because a lot of motherfuckers going to try to play as long as they possibly can. Yeah. No, you know that, what I'm saying? Yeah, put yeah. put your body through too. That this shit and that. Too. Yeah, yeah, so it's like, that. what yeah. was the, what was the, like, man, I guess man, the decision? I, like, man, I still wanted, like, I wanted my mental faculties, man. I, right. I wanted my body. I wanted to be able to not just play with my kid, like when my son's growing up, I wanted to be able to run, show him how to do yeah. a left hand and right mm-hmm. hand layup. It was like, um, when I was going into the league, I kind of always knew, like, the the second, and man, I've always, um I grew up in a church. I've always been, been spiritual, been tuned in with God. Um, I knew that, man, I knew there was a purpose on my life. And I knew football, was, my mom used to always say football is a vehicle. Mm. That's only like part one. Yeah. And, and part two would take uh, would take on after that. Uh, and so going into it, I knew it's like, all right, this ain't my whole life, my entire life. Um, and I'm going to give this everything I have. But the second, the moment is kind of like where I'm called, where God's like, all right, that's it. Yeah. Um, when I knew that, that that moment that I was done, when, whenever it was, whatever it was, I, I knew I was going to walk away from it. Mm-hmm. Um, and that happened after um, five years in Pittsburgh, rookie contract, the um, single year in Arizona. Mm-hmm. Um, man, still did well. Was that interior runner on some bet nah, shit. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which You're was really up cool. Numbers. Yeah, no, nah, real life. Um, and, 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 and when I was kind of like done and complete, I felt that throughout the year where it's like, all right, I um, kind of felt like that was it. And, and it's wild because... Um, even even knowing what I know now, I kind of knew then. That's at that same time too, where they start to devalue running backs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. um, we had Andre Ellington behind me, who was playing really well, doing his thing, and we was kind of like uh, uh, one A, two A, one and two. Um, and I knew they wanted to see him. So after that, then I'd have been like back on the free agent market, right. looking for another team. You know, I know I'd have ended up somewhere weird. I'd have been in Tennessee, like wearing number 37 and shit. I'm and they'd have been like, weak. and it don't even, no, exactly, I'm fucking weak. <laughs> and the thing is, it don't even matter how raw you do it. Running back, they still don't say you saw. Because I'm like, no, no cap. Like, uh, like, Matt Forte, he went to the Jets and was still going crazy, G. Yeah. Like, Chris Johnson, when he got to Arizona, like, cats, even when you go on and do well at running back, they're going to say, oh, you're not what you were because people know me at 34 in Pittsburgh. Right, nah, He's not yeah. what he was in Pittsburgh. Like, oh, he's getting older. Like, you know, you want to see younger. That's the time they start devaluing running backs. Yeah. So I knew, I like, it had al- already been, like, something funny. I got to ask going. you, man, because, I, I like, this is just my question all the time when I hear that, that phrase, because I do get what you're saying. Yeah. But who is the actual they? Is it? It's a great question. It, I think it's, it's, the, it's the culmination. What makes up, it's just what makes up the chatter of the game. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just like all, it's like the everybody, the narrative around the sport. It's like, I'm being for real. You got commentators. This, I mean, I'll be talking to my wife about this. This shit really pissed me off where it's like, think about this. 
you got a lot of people speaking on the game of football that don't love the game. Mm. Think wow. about that. Damn. They don't wow. even love the game, and they wow. speak about it. They love what, okay, this can do this for me. So they delivering a whole message to the fans, and they don't even, they don't love the sport. Don't give a fuck. They don't know the sport. And it's like, that, that all this shit is having an effect. You got people playing fantasy, but they might be the best person in fantasy. So they speaking to a whole bunch of people who want to know mm. what's going on in fantasy. Yeah. It's a lot of voices around the sport. Some voices with a lot of weight. And like, I don't know why don't I'm thinking about him, but like, every voice ain't. Chris Collins worth. Like, oh, that motherfucker like, really be man. talking about football. No, he, he really careful. Man, man, I love Collins when that man speaks. Collins be spit. It just need to be like him and a few people that speak on the game because that's how it always was. And now it's just like, it's, it's so much. Because right. I'm telling you, you it's can't. When you see Christian McCaffrey in San Francisco, you can't devalue the run. When you see what Saquon did, like, Say, man, yeah, last facts. year, with Saquon, yeah. like, last year, I mean, I personally believe the two biggest stories in the NFL was obviously Geno Smith in Seattle, yep. but also Saquon. As like a comeback player and what yeah. he did for the Giants. Man, the Giants, damn boo-boo. They in the damn playoffs. They won a game in the playoffs. He playing crazy. And yeah, I'm like, that, damn, how is that? Thanks. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, of right. course they're going to pay. But even, yeah, okay, okay, they, I understand no, you make that. They pay Daniel no, that's, Jones, they, they Daniel pay Jones, nigga of course. over his own feet. Of course. Right. But even with that, because, you know, yeah, we get yeah, to the yeah, pay. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying in the story. How you can't say what he did to that team, that turnaround. Nah, you know, yeah, even yeah, the energy yeah, that he bringing in went, practice. Yeah, when you got he's watching, you see how his teammates like respond to him, react to him. Oh, he really like leading out there. And so now this team got some hope and belief. It's like, come on, Daniel Jones didn't do that by himself. No. Saquon not a part of that shit. Right. That's that's like crazy asinine for me to see. Nah, like, yeah. so it's just like, dog, if you if you got two eyes and you actually care about this game and you watch that, you know what's going you on. Have, you, know what you have to be on. honest to what's going on out there. Yeah. You have to be honest to what happened. And like a lot of this made up stuff, like just because, oh man, it, it's it's having it's having a real effect on the game, right? I, yeah, and I, I don't like that shit. Nah, I, hey, <laughs> I don't that like that shit. As an old line, as a former old lineman, bro, I hate the disrespect towards running backs. It's, Damn, man. yo, that shit be that's, that's crazy, the game bro. we play. That's yeah. what we do. No, that's yeah, that's what it's, we it's, do. But man. it still play like you still like. Oh. Do you have a good running back? You are gonna have a, a good decent season, right? A decent dog. team, like dog. Yeah, yeah not running that. back is the, is the workhorse, and like you know, especially being offensive line. I know, like. You know, know, I already know. He knows. Uh, you know, yeah. like, but yeah, but the how like the disrespect and like no, them not want to pay running backs and devaluing running backs and like yeah. turning niggas loose like a running like having a really good running back, bro, means a lot that to means a football a lot. team. And they change the whole, they change the Indeed. whole Indeed. like direction of the team. Indeed, and it's crazy. It's like nigga, football started. There wasn't even a forward pass. Exactly. Like, how you gonna All get you rid of like player one? Damn, man, it wasn't crazy. even a forward pass. Yeah, RB like, player one. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what did that say? The game started. Somebody picked the ball up. It was like, all right, I'm running. Come get me. What did that say? Fade at the top. Oh shit, he went back. There hasn't been a a Pro Bowl running back on a Super Bowl winning team since March. So, I mean, but what that mean? What that have to do with anything? What does that have to do with Saquon carrying the Giants from obscurity to like being a contender? Mm. What well, that don't have nothing. That's a like made up stat. Mm. Oh, what the Super? It's like no, nah, because there's there's too many factors that go into the team that win the Super Bowl and lose a Super Bowl. Because yeah, I'm like, even with just, just and, stuff where it's like, the whole team playing. And they, every, lost, they lost the Super Bowl by not running Marshawn. That's exactly what happened. That's Man. a great point, Bar. Exactly what happened. <laughs> That's bar. a Bar. You let Marshawn run right. all the way to the, to the one, and yeah. then... It, it, and, I'm about to say, one of my buddies, one of my something. buddies was, yeah. we was talking about that shit over this, this past weekend. They'll run the motherfucker, got them all the way down to the run yard line, Yeah, get up, and throw a slant. Yeah, yeah. Man, oh, hand this motherfucker the ball. <laughs> of course. But either way, even if you don't, all right, let's not forget, because he threw a one-yard slant, how we got down here. Nah, we was running right. this Ran thing, down there. and we threw this thing. There's only two phases of the offense, running pass. How you going to ignore the whole other half of the offense? Yeah. All right, nigga, when it's second and three, throw it every time. Like, sweetie, it's like, come on, man. We got too much to do with that game for them to nah, be playing on that. Like, right. That's not, the, the, that, that, the, the, the devalue of the running back is, is really nah, outrageous, nah. bro. Outrageous. I gotta yeah. ask. But I mean, but to that, I, I but I really I believe we're gonna put that shit and keep on asking, the shirt, bro. I really believe, but I only, I believe that can only come from people who don't who aren't really in the game. You know what I'm saying? Because oh, I'm of being course, for real. Of course. Even, even what the running back position is. I'm being man, I'll say myself, you're gonna take the guy off the field that's 5'10 and three quarters, 227 pounds, run a four three seven, and can lift the weight room. You're gonna take him off a football field? Nigga, for what? It's just like you got one of the most athletic people. Like, what is he out there doing? 
It's just like, come on, man. Like, it don't even make sense. But I think that, mm. I honestly believe, I'm going to say this, like, it's conspiracy. I only believe that can come from people who don't understand football. Yeah. Who actually yeah. literally do not know the game, yeah. do not play the game, and has never had to stand in front of somebody shooting out of that hole like that. Right. They ain't never had to stand in front of that. So they don't know what kind of decision the defense needs to make. That can only come from somebody who don't play the game. Right. That's facts. No, nah, yeah, that's, I, I, will, I will have to agree with that because. Yeah. Even in the locker room, what, the, like, each position means, what the running back means to the team. Like, right. come on, man. All my Nashville people, y'all tap in with Nashville's premier dispensary with the best THC flower menu. They got the Gary Payton, mm-hmm. the Lemonade, the Purple Punch, the Lotto, and more. Uh, y'all check out the edibles, the elixirs. The edibles is really gas. I tried the chocolates. Okay. They, they okay. was nice. They For did sure. have they did have King over there slumped on the couch a little bit. Mm-hmm. The great, elixirs is fire. Get the extra strength ones because those, those is good. Um, the lifestyle goods, they got some bombs, some, you know what I'm saying, for your knees, your hip. You might need to get some of that shit. I actually just bought some myself, it's, actually. I use I it, too. Yeah, they're regular off of white they're, they're It's really nice, really nice. Um, they're regular they got two, they got, beat up. They got two locations, <laughs> one in Germantown and one on, one on White's Ridge. Mm-hmm. They're really nice stores. Y'all need to go check them out. And if you can't get into the store and you're not in Nashville, you can definitely go to theperfectplantmarket.com, order on there. They'll ship it to you. It's all legal. THC flour, THC edibles, elixirs and more shipped directly to your door. Everything is federally legal. And if you need the highest quality cannabis around, shop with Perfect Plant. And don't forget to use the raw room code Raw room at perfectplant.com for the 15% off. Nope. Perfectplantmarket.com. Perfectplantmarket.com. Boom! And that's T-H-C-A. T-H-C-A. Just so everybody A knows. Flower. <laughs> Federally legal. We Y'all going to get that. Cop that. So your life after... After yes. football, this is Sweet's favorite yes, part. We talk. I got to get to. We start it. talking about the shows. Oh, Matter of fact, I'll let you do this with Sweet. Hey, go ahead. Guys. Because hey, honestly, hey. I want to go back. I want to go back a little bit further because I got uh-huh. shout. I got shout to Flamingo Raps, bro. He put me on some shit. So, uh, oh you can, yeah, that's uh, bro. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was fire. It was fire. Absolutely, right? absolutely. So you can rap though, man. So here's What's the thing. Crazy? Here's the real shit. What's up, dog? I can write for real. I'm about to say, yeah, yeah. Write writing. Yeah, anything, everything. Yeah, yeah. I write raps. I'm not even gonna lie, G. Like I didn't. Man, I didn't been in studios. I didn't. I didn't pin songs. I, mean, I believe. Yeah, no, nah, real yeah, life. But yeah, you know how AB's been on this round and shit like that. Right. I didn't been in studios. Yeah, like like breaking down bars. Niggas, in there, who is this nigga? <laughs> like, who the fuck live. is him? Why we listening to him? I'm like nigga. Like y'all just look me up. But like, no, nah, all right, for real. Okay. And music's part of that, right? Uh, before we even get to ballers, though, like, mm-hmm. what, what was that transition? I want to hear about that. Like, what what was the transition yeah. from? All right, um, you know, you've made your decision. Yeah, and like yeah. you knew that you want to do other things. Mm-hmm. How did you come about saying, all right, I'm about to start? Man, writing. it was like um, it wasn't a transition from that sense, because I've been writing my whole life. I was about okay. to say like, that. Yeah, this was that wrote, started was when um for a while, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. when I was in high school, it actually started uh, um when 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 my dog, uh Lance Newman, he had a studio set up and used to rap and make music. He made beats and stuff. Mm-hmm. And and I'd be in there with him, with him and my dude Mark. And in that time where it's like, we used to be in the studio, we used to be making raps, but I realized in that time, I just loved having a pencil and a notebook more than anything. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So like when I, when I, when I was leaving, even high school and my dog Mark said, he's like, yo, whatever you do, don't stop writing. He didn't say don't stop rapping. He said, don't stop writing. So I always kept a notebook and I always kept a pencil. And so even when I was in college, when I was in the league, I was always writing prayers. I was writing raps. I was writing poems. I was writing short stories. Mm. If something like like pissed me off, frustrated, I just go and just I just go off on my notebook, just go off about it, and then be looking at it. I was like, damn, that's what I felt like, and then be cool after that. So that's smart. Um, so even when I was when I was in the league and the facility, I had my playbook, always had books on me and shit to keep um just to keep myself like level level headed. So when I uh, and this goes back to growing up in the church, my mom being a youth minister, and she was like really strict about education, taking notes and where, shit. Um, yeah, like. Yeah. It'd be little shit, like, if things happen in the world, like, when I was young, I used to ask my mom and be like, oh, mom, what's this? What's that? And she would never tell. She's like, no, boy, look it up. Ooh. Look it up. You ask her something, she's like, I'm not going to tell you the answer. Look it up. And one day, I just got pissed off with her saying that. Well, you know what? Fuck that. I'm going to look it up every single time. Every time, I'd be like, all right, I'm fucking grabbing books. I'm going to the library. If I ever get a question, and that's how I found out about the fight in the line. Now. The, the steel is in the steel mill. Moms are real. I go cool. really look it up, learn it, research that. And that kind of always became a part of my like personal practice. So when I um, it, stopped, it wasn't, playing, it wasn't no Google. Right. No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't no Google, Google at the time. You had to go find that. Yeah, 
Yeah. Let me go to Google. <laughs> yeah. And look no, this up. No, real life. Mm. Yeah, they no, do some real research. Did real research right. um, That's before loud. all of that shit. And so, so while I was uh, in the NFL, in the league, and this was funny, um, I don't know if y'all, when, when Twitter came out and all of that, and, uh, and I got into controversy, low-key, I'm, I was like one of the first people they tried to cancel, really low-key, just because of the you've timing. You've been, you been in some controversy With the um, Bin Laden shit. You remember at the time when the yeah, United I States killed Bin Laden? Yeah. Yeah. And then it, in the world, the people remember, there was some football player that spoke up. I, I caught hella heat, hella flack. And I remember looking around, looking left to right, and my like, family, people, we were so afraid. They was like, yo, what do you, nobody, like, it was kind of like it hadn't happened before. I'm like, yo, what you, like, Gas was like, like really worried and shit. And um, so I'm saying that because um, as that happened on, on, on Twitter in the league, I remember shit. that kind of um, that kind of shifted um, like my, my my brand and all of that. Yes. And I remember my agent called me. He was like, yo, I need you to come to the agency. And this was a crazy day because I'm in Chicago. I walked down the street to the agency and I walked in and they had like this team of people. I ain't never seen this shit. We ain't done this before. They had a PR They had a PR in a, oh, like, intervention. Nah, I walk, he, my agent called me, said he'll meet with me. And I'm like, okay. I walked in there, they had a whole table, like, full of people, yeah. and they was only there, okay, we're going to, and they was like, look, man, you know what happened? You can't just, because, like, for a year, I was just in the cut, kind of. And they was yeah, like, you yeah. can't just sit back. You got to redevelop, revamp your brand, and that's what this team is here to help you do. So they started pitching ideas. Sure, do you want to do, like, this? And it was like, some, like, TV shit came up, some of this. I'm like, no, nah, this is some, like, um, I don't know, some type of, like, business and marketing. I'm like, man, this shit is weak. It's weird. Not me, that's bro. not me. Yeah, right. And then they was like, and how about this? And this shit was just, like, shining. How about a blog and like the Huffington Post? I'm like, wait, you mean to tell me in this office yeah. right now I can write on the Huffington Post? They were like, yeah. I'm like, why didn't y'all just say that from this <laughs> job? <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah. run that. Yeah, run that. that. Yeah. So that. then I got I got a blog with the Huffington Post. Y'all can, it's, it's actually the link on my Twitter and shit. Yeah. And I, and I got those pieces. Mm. Um, so I started uh, writing uh, there. Um, did, did, did uh, you ever meet um, Ariana Huffington? Uh, no, no, I didn't. Oh, okay. I haven't. Yeah, yeah. But um, the, I was. I was it, it was dope when um, the publication reached out to me on their 10-year anniversary, mm-hmm. uh, where it's like 10 years of the Huffington Post, and they reached out to prep professionals in each field to have them write about uh, 10 years in their field. Okay. Uh, uh, like the 10 years of, of the Huffington Post, but to write about 10 years in their field, what they what they plan to see or anticipate to see in their in their respective professional field in the next 10 years. So I said, yeah, I see so, that, yeah, so that's NFL why I wrote the NFL right in there. 10 years, maybe. You know, maybe in ten years. This was written. That was written in I'm, twenty I'm twenty fifteen. That. Is that shit that. coming yeah. up? Yeah. It was written in twenty fifteen. So that's twenty twenty five. Maybe in the history, a, in the future, the NFL that. defenders will be able to tackle again, and they won't get 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 in trouble for targeting. Maybe like, and it was like um, a few different things. Like it'll be a team sport. All these different things. We so need like, we need more motherfuckers like you, bro. Yeah. Advocating Man. for the defense Damn. players out here, bro. Because <laughs> this is real bullshit. Uh, and I brought up when uh, uh, and I forgot who when it was DJ Swearinger in in this article where it's like. Wait, oh man, if there if there was a piece, damn, if I could like read that part of it, um, hey, I could pull it. That might be too much. I, I can pull it up. Yeah, I, I just I just thought a, a a point there that was very interesting. What you said at, at any point, a team can cut or trade a player out of a contract, release and distance themselves from a player who is undergo undergoing scrutiny or restructure deals, handling players pay uh, hand, handling player cuts to make cap room for the for other interests. Yeah, no, oh, that's I mean, within their rights. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's no within their guy. rights. But that when a player, no. it's like, man, if I can't see it from back here, mm. but when a player like outplays um, his contract, goes to re- outplays his contract, yeah. or or where Adrian Peterson and where he felt like what happened with him and his son, and they left him out there, and remember when he came back, he yeah. wanted to be traded. I remember he that. felt like, man, the team wasn't really with me. I want to be somewhere else. And they was like, no, nah, you got to stay here. Right. So it's like, damn, at any point in time, the the, the paragraph was like, um, maybe in the, in the future of football the business will be equal, equally regarded on both sides. Mm-hmm. Because that's where they can cut you, trade you, yeah. to say, oh, well, you ain't earned your stuff. But if you playing out, if you, if you if got you a legitimate out, gripe, if you saying, oh, my family don't like it here, oh, no, then yeah, you don't have, then you don't have that same respect. No, yeah. You don't have that same <laughs> space to make decisions right. for your playing career. Right. Sure. And in a game like football, when you have a dangerously short time to maximize on, on your ability and your mm-hmm. ability to earn, um, to not be able to give in those decisions, it puts guys in tough spots, and it affects their life, their family, their future nah, right. for much longer than just this game. Right. So, like, uh, so how did owners get that power where the players don't in the future of football? Maybe that'll be equally regarded on both sides. Okay, All that's right. big. That's big right there. Yeah, check out that article, man. That is big. Yeah, check bro, out that article because it's. I mean, see it too many times. Guys don't necessarily get the 
Shit, the running back position it's itself. And that's, and that's, that's what that has a lot to do with. prime example yeah. of, you know, they don't get yeah. what the fuck it. they value for. They honestly should be real damn near getting paid more than the quarterbacks. Yeah. Type yeah. shit. Mm. Just, and if because, it's like, just because of, you know, the what they putting their body through for the yeah. quarterback just throwing that bitch. These yeah. motherfuckers getting hit every play. Yeah. yeah. And the Only thing is, true. that investment in running backs, all right, if they not going, if we not going to make that investment in you in the long haul and we know that, all right, we going to play him for five years and get somebody else, okay. If they not going to make that investment in the long haul, if I'm getting off right now, well, I'm not getting paid right now. Right. You know, they got a guy on, on the third round deal, and he, and he that dude. It's he, just like, okay, let me, going, let me get this right now before dumb. y'all say I'm out of it. He been going dumb. Oh, shit. Real you got to wait till three. Exactly. You got to wait till You got to wait till we going to use you and cut your ass. Oh, God. <laughs> like, Sheesh, when you're in the ground and turn you loose. They you know, said we, we, we hoping... I, that, that's probably a little stretch, but we hoping, like, shit, you don't really get to see that second... That second contract, so we ain't got to pay your ass. Mm-hmm. No, nah, real shit. life, yeah. So it's like if 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 they know that business is happening, we know that business is happening. Like, where's the where's right. the line where you're able to make that right. decision? Because you are your own commodity, and like don't nobody got your back like you. So you got to do something. But I said That's the true. only the only the only Get decision the only decision motherfuckers really got to make that you know you have the the utmost control over is fucking retiring, just real stepping life. stepping out of the game. Real That's life. the only thing you real can life. do. Real life, real life. Well, back to ballers. Mm-hmm. So, how do we get here? Yeah, so... How do we get to the ballers? Because <laughs> you how like the transition. How do we get on ballers? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so the transition. So, I was always writing. Then, when that happened on Twitter, because I, I had, like, little, um like, community on Twitter. We'd be, like, Rock passing ideas you. back and oh, forth. Okay. Yeah, yeah, rocking. I used to be speaking about Islam and Muslim and all of that stuff. Like, we, we'd be on, like, having conversations on there. Then that kind of matured and graduated, like, uh, grew up to, like, the Huffington Post, mm. and then when I retired, that was kind of the big thing. When I when I was um when I was going to retire, um, my agent was like, "All right, what do you want to do? You want a press conference?" I was like, "No, I'm gonna write about it." And that's when I wrote like, "Why I retired at 26," mm-hmm. and that piece kind of like really blew up and, and went to all these places. And that was the same time where um Ballers and HBO they had just shot their pilot, mm-hmm. and they had just got it picked up by by HBO. So they were in the form uh, of putting their writers team together to go into the season, go into their season, going to making the show. And, and while it happened, why retired was written, and then the uh, the showrunner, like the the leader of the show, head writer, um, not the creator, but the head writer, he went to okay. the creator, um, Evan Riley. He was like, "Yo, man, have you seen this piece by this football player? Check this out." We gotta get Gave this it thing. to Steven Levinson and gotta was like, "Yo, you read it?" He's like, "Yeah, yeah, I, I like him. I like that. Let's bring him in." So I had a few um, phone conversations, um, did some uh, interviews. They like had me like uh, like mock write up some script. Then they um, said, "You got." To, it was like down to me and some other. Um, they said, like, an established, like, Hollywood writer. They yeah. said it was down to me and them. I don't know if that was a real person that made up. Yeah, yeah, But they yeah, still yeah. had me on the chase. And then it was like, you know, we're going we gonna to rock with you. They brought me in, a uh, three-week contract. Yeah. And, and in that time, it was like, you're pretty good at this. Stick with us. And then I was been there for the whole time. So it was right. five, sure. five seasons, six total years. Yeah. From 2014 to 2019, I had hands on every single episode. That's live. Great show. Great show. I'm a fan. 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 I'm glad they brought somebody that actually played. Like, yeah. Nah, real life. Outside real of just life. The Rock, but like somebody right, yeah. that guys that played actually in on yeah. the actual creative process, yeah. not just like the acting part, but actual nah, real life. The, the whole, writing the whole and thing. creating yeah. side. And That's I'll dope. tell you this, I, I, I'd hate to see what it would have looked like if I wasn't there. Because oh, <laughs> I was there, I'm like, damn, y'all for real. Talk your shit. So thankfully, man, together we worked Who's your favorite character? Man, that's um, that's tough. It's like, it's hard. It's hard for me because it's like not the character. It's hard for me to look past John David Washington. He got so yeah. much zeal, man. He got yeah. so much zest. Nah, he got he so is, much he, on he, him. Ricky Jarrett. Yeah, yeah, Ricky Jarrett. Yeah. And it's like, man, I'm like, because Ricky be walling, but I'm yeah. like, we ain't give enough like context to why he was off the rails or, mm. or what his what was really driving him. And that's mm. where I feel like um like him maybe like his dad's dynamic family. Like yeah, there's like well, a lot of going going because that's that like cause cause the thing we were saying in the room is is Sunday night comedy. So whenever shit got too deep, got yeah. too thick, got too real, it's like, yo, it's still Sunday night. It's a comedy or they call it a dramedy. It's 30 minutes. It's still gotta be light at the end of the day. Right. right. You can't have people too like bogged down in the Anything, so it was like, man. Whenever we get right on the cusp, but like, like you know, where it feel like oh, going there, yeah. it's just like, yeah. And it was like, so the kind of entertainment run out. So it's a like kind of fast, fun, like poppy show. Yeah. But it's like, man, there's no elements. I know it's players. We want to see more, and to be real, kind of low key, we in the talks of bringing the film. So like five seasons in that film coming back. Nice. I'm speaking with the creator nice. to be like, all right, what well, we weren't yeah. able to okay. do, 
Okay. And the comedy we we can be able to do in this film and and, be and add that fire. element and that level Ooh. of dramatic. Where Sweet like, said, Sweet said, bro, can I okay. get a ticket to the parade hey, for real? The parade. Hey, no, and no, real I life. Got... When that time comes, nigga, the raw room, y'all there? For but real. so for real, straight up, because we we said yeah. so the raw room, yeah, y'all yeah. there? When yeah. that's happening, no, because I promise you, and I mean this shit. I'm saying this. When the film comes out and you guys are there, I want y'all to tell me if you feel it. Okay. 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 That's, okay. If y'all feel it, then he, we did our thing. He, he okay. brought, if he, you guys really yeah. feel it, then I we did it. it. If not, then slap the shit out of me. No. <laughs> <laughs> if not, this ain't dog. Yeah, you yeah. playing. Okay, no, man. Play. Yeah, yeah. We, so how, we there. How, 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 much, how much, like, real life did you write? So, for instance, my favorite character, yeah. I, I feel like my favorite character yeah. development story is probably Reggie. Yeah, I feel that. Like, yeah, seeing Reggie, you. Yeah. He, like, so right yeah. now, the like, I next think to the se- guy. Se- season yeah. three, you see him. And Reggie's maturation. Yeah, you see, him, you see him, yep. like, button downs and slacks. Yep, yep, like, yep. he was just, like, you know, yeah. doing yeah, his yeah, thing, yeah. bro. So, yeah. like, was that uh-huh. some of the stuff that, you know, you probably experienced yeah. having a homie or, or, or Absolutely. anybody So that's the conversations and the stories in a row. Yeah. And shout out to T. Suggs. Sorrell Suggs was in yeah, the first yeah. part earlier. Sure. Yeah, he was. Where, he uh, was. Not just in the show. He was part of the writing and development process. Yeah, early okay, on. Man. I remember early about season that. Yeah. one. Yeah, so he was in there for a little bit. He has his um his film and production company. Yep. Oh, okay. uh, nice. I think it's uh, T. Sizzle Productions, uh, okay. I believe. Nice. Okay. Um, so, so he's a part of it too. Good but dude. in the room is probably like a collection of seven to nine writers. Mm-hmm. Maybe like 12, 13 when you incorporate like script coordinator, like... um. Like like editors, just other people in the room. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So in that room, we're having conversations. It's collaborative. After the whole show is collaborative. Mm-hmm. Like um, we're having conversations all the time. Different things come up in the in the world, in the sports world, and, and we'll speak about it to land on certain things. Now, who obviously has the most driving power is the creator of the show, um, Stephen Levinson. Like okay. the show's creator, the the um the head man, where it's like, all right, it's gonna land on. You know what I'm saying? His name. He's the one that um did Entourage as well. And they say the same makers of Entourage. Okay. Uh, him and Rob Rice. You have Rob Rice, like the vet writers in the room. So it's like, uh, we in this room, we speak and we building it, and, and everybody's given the opportunity to have these pitches, and then we land on um uh, the. Oh, no, I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, um, on certain scenes, certain uh courses for characters, certain tracks, and those certain moments. Gotcha. Um, and then there may be just be in a room chilling, yeah. and somebody tell a story like a crazy. I told them when uh. My rookie year, how like when I wasn't, um, cause you know the first round pick, you got to bring uh, donuts, Krispy Kreme food donuts, yeah, for the yeah. team. Yeah. yeah, for the for the away Ours game. Was every Popeyes, time. but I wasn't so well, at ours first. Was Popeyes food for the plane. Oh no, yeah. it was it was Popeyes yeah. on Saturdays and the Krispy Kremes as well. Yeah. Um, the the positions would bring the Popeyes. Okay, and then the um, the, then the first the donuts, round I had to bring the whole the, donuts. The donuts yeah. was for the yeah. uh, for like the the meetings of the day. We don't do nothing. It's like walkthrough day. You yes, gotta bring yes, donuts exactly, for that day. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And then the Popeyes so, was for the plane. Yep. Exactly, yeah. exactly yes, that sir. meal. Yes, sir. And so when I wasn't coming in, I'm just like, damn, do I wake up? Just to, I didn't know how serious it was. No, they was. Do I wake up just to bring Krispy Kremes and go home? Hey, that don't even you, make sense. You better yep. pull up if you yeah. can't carry yeah, this. Yeah, because that, that's what niggas is counting if on. I didn't know that. That was really what cast. I was on IR the same year. I had to yep. get up hey. Saturday morning. Yep. Yep. Popeyes, yep. that it better be on the plane. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, if you, if you, kind of, it's a million cats at the stadium. Right. Can't somebody, oh, at Bro, the if you, you in a wheelchair or no. you on crutches, you better have somebody with you holding the <laughs> shit. Yes, holding the shit. <laughs> it was that brother real, better be bringing that shit. Yeah. Drop it off. Drop, drop it off. It off exactly. God. It, there. it better be there. It better be there. So, better be there. I learned that it was that real and that, in that moment where so, in, when, in, in, uh, in the episode where Ricky Jarrett and Alonzo Cooley are going at it. Mm-hmm. And he wanted the number and everything. When he went into the cold tub, he put his Jordans in there. He was like, oh, yeah, you got my cold that tub. Shit. That was, that was that's, crazy. That's what happened to I me. I didn't bring the um, For real? I didn't bring the it's donut. Real, real so life. they put my stuff in the cold tub. Yep. And they was like, rookie, make sure you got this. And I was like, ha ha, whatever. That was my like my 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 walkthrough. Like, the yeah, my, my, type my, shit. But then, we went, now, but then bro. we went to the walkthrough. Did the whole thing. When I got back into my locker, they didn't do my football clothes. They had my real yeah, clothes, clothes. Yeah, My street clothes. They don't do your football shit. stuff. They exactly. do what you want. Exactly. So they put my football stuff first and then put my real put clothes in the cold clothes. tub yeah. after. I thought yeah. it was over. I'm like, See, normally, damn, so y'all really... Normally, they don't even do football stuff. They get they wait till you yeah. change, you get dressed. Yeah. And, and what you wore to the facility, your regular street clothes, put that that's shit what in goes the cold in the cold tub. tub. Yeah. So, and your I ain't know that. football stuff don't go in the cold yeah. tub. Your, yeah. Your, like, and, this what you got on now, that's what you wore... Yeah. To work and you change the locker room. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All that's I going agree. in the cold. Don't, yeah. Hey, don't be try to don't try to be fucking quick and put your shit on. They yeah. gonna toss your ass in that bitch too. we <laughs> fucking around. No, you can't get around you it. Goddamn donuts so, better yeah. be there. So I, I thought it was over. They did me. I'm like, damn. But I was like, they, but who did that? I was kind of like, I, I felt like that was, but okay. yeah. they, they, they gonna so, be like, like, so I told that story and they were we like, oh, it. that's crazy. We gotta put that
Okay, all mm-hmm. right. But I, I can talk about the show all day long, but I ain't, I ain't gonna bore everybody with it. But I'm it gonna is, ask you a question. Cat, no, you did. You did. He's here. Ask him. Yeah, I no, care, sweet bro. boy. He right. right. Some good so, stuff. So, mm-hmm. so, so um, mm-hmm. one, two, three. I feel like I've, I've asked this question before, but was this in the in in the writing room, like that real come to Jesus moment? Okay. Like I'm talking about Ricky again when he got down on his yeah. knees. Yeah, like, yeah, this, yeah. This is episode one. Episode, episode one, one early on, yeah, early yeah, yeah. on, and because, like he was like, "Oh shit, I gotta get yeah, on my knees." So like, yeah. what was like, was that a moment for y'all? So like, I gotta get was, my shit together. Yeah, so it's episode one, so that's early in that character development, and yeah. it was always written in very early on that Ricky would be like, like very spiritual, yeah. like man, mm-hmm. individual, yeah, very okay. like, and almost a little bit like over spiritual. And I feel like as the show goes on, you don't see that as much you don't. as it was, but was that was part say, of his really? character. He's supposed to be spiritual. Where, yeah. <laughs> no, I know. What? To where it's like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but um, yeah, so early on, where he's like, man, and it's kind of like that 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 Ricky Jarrett pull. Is he is he really into God or is he selfish enough to be like, man, I've been fucked up again. God, yeah. I really need you right now. And yeah, he yeah. was like, I don't want Green Bay to cut me. I'm not trying to end up somewhere else. So we got on his knees and. And it still happened, and it still went down. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But but that's those things where it's like as the as the show's beginning, as it's starting, and then as the room's going and the conversations, where it's like some things um kind of stick, and you get more into kind of like uh like like Spencer and his pills and, and that problem okay. and shit. What he's okay. trying to, and then other things kind of like Ricky too. and his um yeah and, and his religion kind of like uh I got like Wayne's that go up and down. I got you. How yeah. y'all uh, who who was in a room who was in a room where y'all thought about doing the uh, the uh, VR uh, porn? <laughs> that, you that? I, no, that so um, funny. yeah, that's funny. That? That shit, I, man, the, uh, wow. the episode turned on right. I'm sitting, uh-huh. I'm watching it. You know, big screen. And my, my wife, she walk up. And the only thing you see at the time, I'm like, yeah. what is, what, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Why on the she <laughs> thinks that. She thinks she watched what it looked like. Watch not what it looked like. It ain't that. I thought this was ballers. I thought it was ballers. So that, so that's one of those moments where the characters kind of take off. That's such a Rob Corddry thing. He hilarious, that bro. He's funny. That's hilarious, so bro. that means so much for him. That's some shit He's that I, I feel like. Oh, I for, that feel like it just really happened, and that was him. I don't yeah. even remember the day when we in the room like speaking about that because I was like, man, Corddry. That's one of those things where like our actor like Corddry would kill this shit right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He went crazy. He's funny, He's funny as shit. He, he, yeah, it went he hilarious is. the whole episode. Whole episode. Funny, so yeah. were like you involved in casting and all, or like you were just writing, like really right. um, like even no, like so, other characters coming yeah. in. So as you, it's kind of like any team. As you you brought in for your position yep. for your role. As you're in the team, your role either kind of like grows and, and blossoms. Or it kind of like like narrows out. So as I brought in, uh, was brought in as a writer. But throughout the time, like five years, six years, you start going. I, I spent the last two seasons, three years as producer, um, co-producer, supervising mm-hmm. producer. And as up. you, yeah, and as you're like getting into the development of the show, and you know what's uh, what's going on more, then they start calling you to ask. Like you know, there's a couple um, for the piss man. That's where it was like um, they was trying, you know, trying to find out like. Uh, when 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 Vernon had to pee in the cup, oh yeah, and, and they was him and oh, Reggie was yes. promoting the weed company. Yeah, so they like Spencer said, you yeah, can't yeah. piss. Everybody involved is kind of like, well, what does a piss man look like? What would he move? What he? <laughs> so for the right casting, they, 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 yeah, yeah, I was brought they, in they, to kind of help. Job of picking a piss man, he like <laughs> yeah, that, some random, yeah, weird, like, little weird, a little weird, weird ass weird. random, <laughs> yeah. Who wants like, to collect? This, who wants to collect piss? Man, yeah. they, you look at they dogs. Weird. Who, who wants to do they that? Weird. Like, some weird. of them be good dudes, but they nah, also be weird. They be weird as fuck. Cause like, why, why, why you handling piss? Like for real. So yeah, so as it goes on, like. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? 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 Hey, I feel you. You know what I mean? Because hey, it's a show. Cameo. Hey, no, no, Ricky, no, real Ricky life. Ricky and what's his name? Ricky real life. And, uh, so here's how it works. Started, started a podcast, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, real life. It's like in a rival little podcast, yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? We can... Yeah, we, no, we got to hey, get the wrong room. We got to get the wrong room. room in the, be in the movie. Wrong room in the movie. Hey, get us in the movie. Hey, I got hey. you. I got you. See what I can do. Okay. We'll pull up. Hey, <laughs> See what I can mean? do. Get us, yeah. get us in the movie. Hey, hey, most of them. We're here. We'll, we'll be a rival pod to him. You know what I mean? Hey. Go hey. Talk, <laughs> hey, talk some you. shit. Most of them. Go crazy, you know? Most of them, man. All right, so. What did you got? What did you got, bro? I guess we 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 really had on, I guess it's a, it was some old football stuff, but I guess we gonna we going to get to this last little. You going to do this? Last little question. Well, I guess we wanted to talk about this little something right here. The little tweet. 
that he had. Mm, yes. Oh yeah. About yeah, yeah. Uh, let's yeah. get it. About your yeah. for, your former teammates. Let's get it. Mm hmm. Let's get it. So you said you said Ben was a poor leader. Hold on. Damn. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I I was just reading what Pe- what Faye. I said if 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 this person is a leader, you say he is. Mm-hmm. But this go down like this. Mm-hmm. Ooh. This this is this um. No, this like this overemphasis on the quarterback position. Right. Because, like, this don't have to do with him, like, per se, but this is a larger Pittsburgh thing where it's like, I'm being for real, man, for as great as those teams were and yeah. are that I played on. Yeah. Man, that shit, that shit kind of rubs you wrong. It's like all this, there's like a lot of credit, like, overly given to one person, to one uh, man at seven. Mm, yeah. So it's like, so in real life, I'm like, it's a fucking Pittsburgh thing where it's like, whenever we doing great, whenever we doing well, Oh, it could be the team, but the quarterback's amazing. He's awesome. Damn. Whenever we fucking struggling, whenever we doing bad, fire Tomlin. Like, what you mean, fire Tomlin? Oh, oh shit. The fucking Le'Veon and, and they be, they, they having too much fun. They doing too It's just like, wait, every time it's not going well, are we a team or not? Are we a team? When we go take this field, do we win? Are we the Steelers? And when we lose, it's just like, okay, like certain people are shielded from the loss. And then everybody, and then anybody else taking the blame. Yeah. And then who that somebody else happens to look like us a lot of the time. I've been in Pittsburgh for a while. I'm just like, yo, this shit's starting to add up. So it's like, Damn. what does it say? If if this seven is the leader, you and it's crazy. I, I got the clip from Any Given Sunday. I was literally watching Any Given Sunday yeah. on this night. Yeah. And what do you see? You remember the movie, right? Yeah, yeah I remember On too, that movie, what do you yeah, see? Yeah, I remember the movie. You have yeah. a quarterback who is like, all right, is his head getting too big? And it's like, that team, you got Julian Washington, the running back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's just like that team being like, look, man, however good you you are or think you are, nigga, you're not the only one out here. Right. You, Motherfucker, we out here too. Mm-hmm. If your head get that big, it's going to be the same thing as the balloon that's going to take us away from where the fuck we need to be. Damn. And that's so clear and apparent in this movie. But in real life, we living in Pittsburgh and we really got a person who's like, whose image of playing injury and playing tough is so fucking large it's starting to pull away from us being a great team. Everybody else. Yeah. Let's be for the 2008 Pittsburgh he got Steelers. Carried. He defense, got carried early on. Yeah, defense carried him. The, the fucking yeah. 2008 defense yeah. of the Steelers is one of the best in the NFL history. Like, 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 they, they, they like straight up, they changed the way the game was played. Because no, like, facts. straight if, up. If they played play straight up, yeah, like, if they put yeah. defensive yeah. units in the yeah. Hall of Fame, that would be one of the That's first ones to go. That's what I'm saying. So when you even speak about the 08 Steelers, how you not start with that defense? Defense, like for real, and it's just like, yeah, and through it, so it's like, yo, when it's. When it's going well, you have all these players, all these men putting their hand in the pile to do their thing. But it's like, it tends to be, it's like, oh, the credit's given to the quarterback. He won two Super Bowls. It's seven, seven this. And this ain't even about the person as much as about, like, fucking balance. Mm. And it's like, okay. Mm. But, like, when it's, losing, like when it's losing, when it's losing, it's a problem. problem and, then, and then there was a problem when it became 84, AB. So it was like, okay, this motherfucker might be the best in time at his position yep. at receiver. Yes. And and so he's operating all the all right. So if I'm that dude, then like, you know, you had a 2018, like top hundred players. Number one, you have Tom Brady. Number two is Antonio Brown. Mm-hmm. If you fucking second, they, they, Tom Brady wanted the best ever. A yeah. B might be chasing Jerry Rice. Thanks. So it's like, how am I this in the entire league? But I gotta walk into my own team, my own facility, and duck my head down and get under a guy who's is he, he might be top 10 quarterbacks. He's not number one. He's not number three. Ain't Drew Brees still playing at this time? Ain't yeah, Tom, ain't there. all of this and that. So it's like, <clears throat> it don't make sense how this, like, respect is being broken down because of even the way that, like, we fucking play in this game. And so it's just like, the only thing I was saying in that thing where I'm like, okay, if the leader, like, like, uh, like, like, uh, was it Coach Pagniacci? <laughs> was it um, Coach, uh, uh, oh, yeah. Was yeah. It, um, the, he was saying on the thing, he's like, yo, the quarterback, boy. like, is, is the spot. Al Pacino, when mm-hmm. he's saying like, uh, yeah, when you win, you get the credit when that fall. It's like those guys got to be able to come with you. And you and you going to be like, you have to like carry and take that fall and the whole thing. So I'm seeing it. I'm like, damn. Okay, so this so, was for me. So I'm like, if we win the game and our quarterback's so great, then it's like, that's fine. If we lose this game like in the Super Bowl, it's on like how, how it's, it's on me. It's on somebody else. Oh, so it's me because I lost the ball. Like nigga didn't hold on to the ball. Like it's, it's somebody, it's this and that. So I'm like, yo, if, if if that's the leader, wouldn't he take the fall along with the credit that's and not just the credit just and like leave the, anybody else out just there? Just like the coach got to, yeah. they're supposed to do. Spoke, no, you know? but like yeah, whoever the leader is, it's like, right. how do you leave somebody else out there when it's right. a fall? Right. Even when Pittsburgh started struggling, even when when when, when Le'Veon went away, when a- Antonio Brown went away, they was um the the, the, the killer bees, mm-hmm. the three bees. When they went, it was just like, oh, it's, it was their fault. Yeah. It's Le'Veon's fault. It's, it's AB's fault. It's, it's always somebody else's fault. So I'm like, yo, if somebody getting credit, won't they like? Won't they take the fall too? 
if they not taking the fall, then like, okay, is that leadership? You just going to shake it and let it be somebody else. Because I'm taking the fall for the fucking game, and I came, did my best. Right. That don't even make sense. Okay, I got, I got to ask you a question. I just like, I just like. This is nigga's favorite scene. So, <laughs> does, does that make sense? Am I tripping? No, no, no you're right. Yeah, you're right. Because I, I was like, leave it alone. But I'm you like, know. young, you want to keep saying I lost the game? Okay, the, the, like, where the fuck the leader at? So, my, my, my question is this. He won all the Super Bowls, how I lose it? If right. he winning them, how I'm losing it? Yeah. He, okay, so, but who, who made him the face of the oh, team? I'm about, about to say that. So, so that's a great question. Here's what I'm saying. Now, this is real player shit. Okay. I don't care who made it, but like, we in this locker room, how you allow that? That's the internal beat. How you allow yourself okay. to be so far away from us to where you some type of hero savior no matter what happens, even if you don't have a great game. Right. You still some type of hero and savior, and we still left out there to pick up the pieces. Like, we fucked the game up. Like, we fucked the game plan up. Nah, you yeah. talking about Super Bowl? I ain't even had a ball in my hands enough to fuck the game up. Like you had the ball. We had, like, over 50-something passes. Mm. Coming from the AFC Championship, when we ran the motherfuckers to death, we ran them into the ground. Right. Now we in it's the Super Bowl. still a lose running the ball. So yeah. That's what I'm saying. We should have <laughs> took Green Bay ass to Pittsburgh. Now we in the Super Bowl. We going five wide receivers. We doing shit I've never seen before. And then, like, all right, we going to get in a shootout with Aaron Rodgers. Who's going to win that? A shootout between Ben Roethlisberger and Aaron Rodgers. Who's going to fucking win that? I got you. We got to keep his ass on the sideline. I know who I'm talking about. Oh, God. We got to keep his ass on the sideline. He got to be looking up at the clock, being like, damn, we're going to have enough time. They just got another first down. Yep. And, like, we go into there, and however we won, however we lost, when it's all set up, when it's all said and done, you're not saying the guy, our MVP, our savior, our hero, that's won all these games for us before, you're not saying, damn, he didn't get it done today. Fuck, he'll get him next time. You saying, no, it was fuck. It was somebody else's fault. It was that motherfucker right there on his 15th damn carry. It was him. So Man, was and, I, and for the longest time, I was like, leave that shit alone. Like, no, nah, so we so, wasn't so, in, oh, we I, wasn't I, in the I, locker I, room I, after that. Go ahead. I, I'm saying, I'm saying, like, just, yeah, just like after that, you, the whole, uh, the whole, yeah, the the whole persona yep. of what of what Ben was, right? Uh-huh. Was that how y'all felt? I'm talking about like not during you're Super Bowl. Talking, talking about, about the team? Like, yeah, the, the team. Was that the energy yeah, that no. like he 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 was walking around the locker room with? Or is this just what so, they were saying outside? Man, that's I guess a great question. That's my question. It's like what I felt like, and I can speak from 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 my vantage point in my career, I always felt like before 2010, before Twitter, for us as a team, it always felt like what was outside was outside. It was outside. It always felt like that. I'm cool with that. Right, we going to war, we're going to battle. When it came, like, 2010, after the Super Bowl, it was like that shit that was outside was getting inside. It was, like, mm. seeping in and seeping through the wall, like, fucking asbestos. Like, and I'm like, wait, so we letting this shit in? We ain't going to let nobody do nothing about this? So I'm like, we, if we win this bitch, we win it together. If we lose this, we lose this together. And I'm being for real, because it's like, I, I feel like I was a nigga that was left in Dallas Stadium, G. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's mm, where this damn. is coming from. Where I'm like, yo, how everybody get to, we all lost. How everybody get to walk out this bitch and leave here I, except me? I, Y'all want to hold me here I and then talk about some certain fans. This is now. This is literally a small percentage of fans it, yeah. who want me to bleed and feel it forever. Right. Because every time the Super Bowl playoffs come around, they're like the Steelers are supposed to have another one, but this fucking guy, this <laughs> you know, fucking guy, this fucking guy. Yeah. I'm like, all right, they're gonna be too many guys. Yeah. Cool out with that. Uh, on some Kendrick shit, like, man, don't tell a lie on me. I won't tell the truth about you. Mm. Okay, let's call it then. Yeah. This guy, I'm the reason. I'm not fucking fault. I'm, I'm what the fuck we did. No, okay. <laughs> it, there's more to it than that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, that and, was and if, one of if those. Ben was the leader. I'm, like, so like, no, so it was, it was actually, so it's actually like a paradox. If he, So what did they say after that? They was like, of course he is the leader. He's taking credit for the fall of the Super Bowl so many times. Okay, if he did, then leave me the fuck alone. If he took credit for that, then leave me alone. If yep. he didn't, then he's not the leader you say he is. So either way, the only thing I'm saying is get your foot off my damn neck. I can't breathe, G. Yep. I did my best. Leave me alone. I wanted to win more than anybody because I didn't get to play in 08. Yeah. Thanks. And then we showed up and whatever the fuck was going on, whatever the case, I'll say this. Our left tackle, Max Start said, and fucking on 93.7 The Fan, which is like, this the wrong big room in Pittsburgh. Right. <laughs> it's yeah. like the big, room in Pittsburgh. Yeah, big where he was max. like, hey, after however many years, he said, he said, I felt like we went into that game trying to win larger trophies for certain individuals mm. instead of trying to win that seventh Super Bowl for the Steelers, for the team. Wow. He Dang. said that shit. So it's like, yo, we came in here Max. with a plan that, like, what happened? We won the two Super Bowl before. Ben wasn't the MVP. Who was the MVP in the first Damn. one? Hines Ward. Damn. Randall L. threw the little reverse pass yeah. to Hines. Nice Willie Parker set the record for the longest fucking touchdown yeah, run in the Super Bowl. Yep. If the Super Bowl is a measure for greatness, Nigga, Willie Parker got two Super Bowls. Mm. Where he at? He mm. started in both of them, in 06 and 08. 
Ain't he won? He top three rushing all time in Steelers history. Where the fuck is he at? Damn, ain't niggas. that what it means to be a champion? Fast, really. Yeah. What's up? So it's like in 08, who was the MVP? Santonio Holmes. Santonio Holmes. He made the catching and the whole thing. Tony we go on the three. Oh, Tony Tony we go on the three. So before the game is played, you got to play the game. Yeah. We going to sit here and pick who our MVP is, who our hero is before the game. I see what you're saying. But here's the thing. This is real life. This is real stats. Throughout that year, throughout that, we started the first, the first, it was originally the first six games yeah. without a quarterback. They they got it appealed to four games. They're like, what are they going to do without, man, we, we still winning. Our running game was in front of our passing game that entire year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying for all of history. It's like, look, my fucking running game is leading the charge. Just some old school years. football. We go into yeah. the fucking playoffs. We had to get out of Baltimore and fucking third and two yeah. to get to fucking up. We had to get out of fucking the Jets. We on the ground. We wasn't throwing the ball all over the fucking place. Yeah. And so it's like we get to the last game. We get to the most important fucking game. And now we sitting there playing with the outside. It's going to be a battle between two quarterbacks, Ben Roethlisberger and Aaron Rodgers. And you gonna we gonna get into that shit and choose our hero before we even step on the field. I got man, sweet. I see. I and sweet. like, and so I'm I'm, I'm playing a million football games in my fucking life. Sure. Like I, I remember hey, that listen, one clearly. I'm not I even that gonna one say script because like I feel like I feel like because my tripping king. That makes no, sense. No, <laughs> so, <laughs> if, you know, it's wrong, yeah, right? no, it's wrong. Why would you go away from what got you there? That's all I'm saying. And then at the end of that, Who's so I'm sitting out and gave my whole life, carry this whole team. We get to this point, and when it don't work out. Like, I think it's really me. It's your fault. It's my fault. It's your fault. I'm ready to send it up. The ball. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's my fault. Okay. Hey, so, I lost so, the game. So who's so, calling I'm ready to send it up. Sweet. I was just asking that question. So, like, really, Sweet. realistic. Go I, ahead. Like, I, was, I, was I don't want to say how I want to say to, it. To your, your point, to your point, like, who's, who's call is it? I would say it's to the, to the same point that he just made. They, you know, maybe like an organization or somebody way higher up than the motherfuckers mm-hmm. actually calling the plays yep. was like, oh, we need this motherfucker to be the MVP. Yep. Cater to that however the fuck you need to, but make it happen. And so they probably out here calling plays, catering to the motherfuckers up top so they don't get their the, fucking they nuts boss. chopped off. Yeah, to their boss. And... Do, do we, got, we, we got the Super Bowl started acting totally different. We doing totally shit. We don't even totally different. different. I'm thinking we got some more tight ends and shit this acting, piece. Acting brand new. <laughs> but either way. Right. Whoever, yeah, whoever the call you. was, however it happened, at the end of the day, from what I understand in Little League, we win the game as a team. We lose the game as a team. Come on. That's man. it. Preach. If you say anything else, if you say it's me, all right, stop playing. Because, like, I'm, I'm not too keen to taking that shit. Right. So I can say it was a whole bunch of other things. But, yeah. like, it's still football. It's still a team game. We won and lost as a team. Yeah. Is the NFL finger, like just re- reactionary to like whatever was hot? Be honest. I'm like, so the NFL, <laughs> the NFL I'm is that me. shield and that brand that we all play under. Yeah. The motherfuckers that watch the NFL, I don't know how, how they have as much power as these. The people that watch the NFL they that make a lot of, power, of noise. They got a lot of power. So it's like, they, y'all, we saw, we saw, we saw that. The one, they make a lot of noise. The that's spending the money. That's so now. They, so now it's catering. When you see the commercials, it's catering to the people in the stands, the whole game. Every, I'm being, every time you see a commercial of a football player, like Larry Fitzgerald, he not being strong and great. He having to hand a bottle to a kid or a person holding a cell phone. That's like, yes, now that you gave me this bottle of Coke, I'm going to start you right. in my fantasy. He might. Everything's catering to this right. person. Oh, yeah. And it's just like, cool, that's business. That's fine. But like niggas really still put their heads and their necks right. and their hips and their knees shit. and their bodies out there. The and ain't nobody taking that lightly. Ain't nobody kidding about that. You we can't. don't. You, we don't. We can't. But, but like, how, yeah. much, how much voice and say do you have as a player? All right, if they got to say, why well, don't got to say? Mm. Just like you said, those those people in the stand, they can talk their shit, okay, but when I talk I, mine. All right, All right cool. And that's the thing, another two with the fans, they know that they're, like, they know there's a level of protection for them from us. Facts. That's what they I'm saying. They're like, they're oh, well, shit, I'm just they over the internet. They say whatever I want, you know, recklessly, and if he does come attack me, I can just sue him and get my money, so it's a win-win for them either way. That's what I'm saying. Shabush. And they know yeah. that if we, if we were, like, if you ever see somebody if they get into it with a fan, if we try to go on the stand, somebody's going to come grab Yep, Security's exactly. gonna come Absolutely. break it up. So exactly. they know that there's a level of protection that they have, which I feel like I'm not gonna call it bullshit, but yeah, it gives them a level of courage to say whatever the hell they you know, Absolutely. say the bullshit right. that they say sometimes. Absolutely. Knowing that either way what no, there's no repercussions, like there's no nah, it's a win win for them yeah. either way. Yeah, yeah. no, nah, real yeah. life. And it's like they protect it. Wouldn't we be the ones that's protected? You would that, think so. You would think so. Facts. All right, boys. We didn't been here for a little minute. Man, it's a good now we, uh, we we didn't we didn't got to some deep stuff. We're gonna get on a little lighter note. Yeah, before we get, get light before we get up out of here now. Before we get up out of here, man. Um we had some we had some questions in here, but I want to pop it off with this uh this pay tag cut. Oh, we, we got another we did, we did one in a minute. This for this for you. 
Okay. Uh, for your, uh, you know, teammates that you play with. Yeah. Mm. And he, these Tough. these receivers, right? Pay tag cut. You know, you know how to. Oh, okay. pay tag cut. Got you. Yeah, yeah. So uh-huh. we got we got Larry Fitzgerald. Okay. Hines Ward. Okay. And Antonio Brown. Damn. 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 Okay. So let's just let's just <laughs> let's just yes, address the elephant. That's tough. What what Antonio Brown do we have? What time period? We have AB in his heyday. Yes. Just, we have, I, I, every, we have period. Period. No, watch this. I'm gonna take this different. Everybody at their peak. All three. Everybody at the peak. So I'm gonna take this different. We know what happened with AB. What if we paid him and that never happened? So I was, I'm gonna go pay AB. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take it different. Too. I'm paying AB too. Absolutely. Because I want to keep him happy to keep doing what he's doing. Yeah. Because I'm gonna build my team to win the ship around in '84. I, I ain't never seen nobody stop. Nah, that when he got drafted, when he walked in, I ain't never seen him stop. When he was in Tampa Bay, I was after just about everything, to say Tampa Bay. He we still, still was I, on, baby. We ain't never seen him be guarded, G. We, if we talking about football, we playing football. I've still yet to see that man be guarded. Mm-mm. I'm paying AB first like, and foremost. Yeah, no, nah, facts. I'm paying, <laughs> paying him first and foremost. That is, bro, that's still that's so hard because this nigga was so great Cold, for bro. the tenure that he had. And My then favorite play and still time. got cut short, bro. And still niggas is like, to this day, AB that nigga is still dog. the hardest motherfucker the AB was to a cover. Dog bro. At his man, feet, bro. The man. So facts. after that. I'm a little bi- I'm a little biased. Because that growing up, this was one of my favorite receivers, bro. Absolutely. Being, Absolutely. Dre, being a dreadhead type nigga, I born to be a receiver man. type shit. Absolutely. I bro, the damn the damn Super Bowl catch, motherfucker took that slant to yeah. the crib. Yo, oh, we thought that on, <laughs> I remember we we, we thought that was might have been done. It was oh, like that shit was like it was bro. almost done. It's like, oh damn, did they just get us? Oh, bro. Did they just do us? That nah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, nah, real. Facts. So after um So you got. So just to, as you were saying, he came up next. I think I'm a tag fits for this reason. Man, I love Heinz War. I want to keep him. But him and AB already played together. Uh-huh. And it was almost like AB was waiting on him to leave. Yeah. I don't know what that dynamic is. So I'm going to cut Wody and let him be somewhere else. Okay. Because I don't think he need to be around AB. Right. I'm going to keep Fitz. <laughs> I paid AB right. already. Right. I paid AB already. I'm going to keep Fitz with him. Yeah. Because I, I feel like I that can level and balance out. And All I'm going right. to let Wody go do his thing somewhere else. All I right. like how he did that. I yeah. like how he did he that. Has, he Real, has business. Business. <laughs> Real business. Real business. <laughs> I'm going to let War go do his thing. Out here. Yeah. He's smart out here. He's smart out here. I like that shit. I like that shit, man. I'm definitely tagging War, though. You oh, tagging Ward? Yeah. Absolutely. Uh-huh. You gonna have because AB and Ward? You gonna have too. AB and Ward he, together? He was right there. I mean, bro. because like it's it's like it's, you know, speaking of f- football, bro. Like he's just mm-hmm. like how's Ward? Like oh, all, yeah. Yeah. all time. He's, he's a Steelers time. fan. He gonna keep both Steelers. Bro, oh, absolutely. I used to watch. <laughs> I used to watch. Yeah. No, yeah. Hines is everything. Yeah. Yeah. He is, bro. I used to watch. Let me see. Uh, it's H and L, bro. He was on the news for a little bit. I don't know if y'all knew that. Hines, I do. I do. Bro, I used to watch this because he was on the news. That's why I started watching the news. I said, bro, look, Hines on, bro. He was on the news. Absolutely. The Steelers fan, he gonna keep on God. What you saying? Fight on H and L doing his stuff. Oh, shit, man. Hey, absolutely. No, but me, I'm 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 with Shard on this Shard on this one. I'm yeah. Yep. I'm Definitely. paying AB. Definitely. Yeah. Yep. Definitely. I'm tagging Fitzy and yeah Hines. Yeah, yeah. Let, let, him, let him go ahead and do his thing. Yeah, yeah. You'll be good no matter what. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm exactly. <laughs> he gonna he gonna. Yeah, I'm uh, with my, dra- my draft classmate on this one. Absolutely. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> Most of <laughs> That's old ass niggas I was drafting. You said old oh, ass niggas. We out here rapping. Not right. Old niggas rapping. Senior, senior citizen couch. <laughs> hey, no, uh, stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> we out here. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, look, man. I, look, we ain't really got much else, bro. We got all hit all the sports, man. Uh, we appreciate y'all hey, no, tapping on, couple, tapping no, in. We got a couple of things. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm cutting it. What we missed? We can't. We can't. We can't close this out yet. You know what we talked about AB. We can't. We can't close this out yet. You know we talked about AB. Richard. What's and up? you know you obviously Odin. you know you uh-huh. you played with him you were close with him you have a relationship with him mm-hmm. so towards the end of his career you kind of see you know he walking off the field in the middle of the game and shit That's like true. that like yeah. you know what are you yeah. what are you thinking when you know you have more of an inside look to so, AB as a person so what do you think about when you see all that shit man no real life like I, and I'm like I'm actually like next to him as a lot of this shit is happening it's mm-hmm. like so I'm not being deterred by the headlines and by the media and by what they saying about this person, this Cause man. Because right. I know him. Known him since 2010. Mm. Man. If, like, I'll say this, man. Like, if he was the guy they were making him to be, if he was the villain, if he was this wild, this crass, I don't think he could have done what he's done in the NFL. At mm-hmm. the level and in the way, mm. so you have him. You have him walking off the field when he when he speaks. I'll be listening. So he's saying it's just like, yo, I I the, the last week they didn't have Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. 
So he went out there, I forgot, against whoever the team was, had 10 catches, had 101 yards, whatever the case, it's like, yo, he stood up for you and stepped up in a big moment. Now, mind you, before he got to Tampa Bay, he already served his penance for all those things that happened, all those since He's in there playing football. Right. Yeah. So after that game, he steps up for his team. He does well in the game. And in the post-press conference, what are they talking about? Oh, man, you, you, you forged that COVID card, blah, 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 this and that. He's like, yo, man, I already, like, look, man, it's COVID. Some people want to take the shot, don't. I already served my time for that. I already served that suspension. We already dealt with that. Well, y'all trying to bring this, this shit. Y'all trying to bring this to something that it's not about. Let's talk about football. Let's look forward. Let's speak about the game. And what BA said, he was a model citizen that first year. He already paid his shit. He went to Tampa Bay right. with, with, with no idea, no enemy, but to play football, to play it as well as he could. Mm-hmm. That stuff's coming in, seeping in. When they playing in this game, uh, the receivers are back. And, and I'm just saying, like, their receivers are back. And he's like, okay, so now, and I got this ankle. Like, I think I should rest. No, you're going to play. He's coming off the bench. I don't give a whatever it was. But it's like, you take, now, here's the thing. Why am I saying this? It's Tom Brady and Antonio Brown. Yeah. Every single ball that's thrown, like, all right, there's somebody that threw it. There's somebody on the receiving end of it. Every ball that's thrown, somebody yeah. on the receiving end. Every yeah. time a ball is caught, that means somebody threw it. When I see a quarterback, and re- they the same fucking thing. Yeah. When I see Tom Brady, I see Antonio Brown. When I see Antonio Brown, I see Tom. They the same guy. He was drafted in the sixth round. They the best of our time. Yeah. So I'm like, dog, you, it's like, with, and A.B., what he's saying, it's like, so now, like, he's he's just a guy. He the sixth receiver off the bench behind Scotty Miller. His ankle hurt. He not, he's saying, look, I don't feel like I'm being, like, looked after. Value. I don't feel right. like I'm being valued. I don't feel like I'm being respected. Facts. And if in my mind, if I'm fucking Tom Brady and I'm not being respected, nigga, y'all tripping. I'm not. Facts. So right. when he takes that approach, he's not thinking he's AB with all the controversy and the blah blah. He's you know the view I'm from AB your helmet. He's on the field. Right. Every Bro, time a ball comes his way, yeah. he just see himself tracking that bitch. Yeah. Every time a ball comes, he's doing this. So he's like, look, this don't make respect. You guys would never treat the best player in the game like this. And I'm still the best player like in the game. Arguably, yeah. fuck yeah. it, I don't position. need to be here. Y'all right. tripping. Right. And his, I'm the best player in the game. How y'all do? Y'all niggas tripping. So y'all can go ahead and be sorry without me. He left the field. I'm not even playing. Nigga, the Tampa Bay ain't been a contender since. I ain't heard from him since. That's true. He made a, an impact on that team. Like, every football team he That's played, true. man, I know nigga mm. wear fur coats and gold chains. <laughs> he yeah, living yeah. kind of fast. I'm sure he living fast. Nigga yeah. play receiver. Yeah. But it's like, when it come to football, I'm like, that nigga was a dog. I see Antonio Brown, and I see Tom Brady. They the same exact I thing. See what you're Straight up. And Thanks. you, I don't, I don't, I don't everybody's personality different. Thanks. If I don't like that a person, the nigga fish in the offseason, and I don't like that, what the hell that got to do with him being a dog turn as a damn on, lineman? Right. Watch AB. And All so I'm like, dog, on, bro. yeah, I'm trying to win football. I'm with that man. And I'm like, look, what, what's the actual issue? When the teammates start having a problem, then I, then I believe it. Right. The teammates are like, no, that's some bullshit. Then I'm with it. Mm-hmm. If they still sitting there, it's like, damn, this is a tough situation. That sounds like some outside shit to me. Yeah. It's a lot of outside. Yeah, and once again, I don't get lost in the headlines. I didn't. I had to live in it myself. I didn't. I didn't like had to walk through. Yeah. And 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 keep myself through controversy. So when it come to him, when it come to that, I don't get lost in that. Right. Mm. That's love right there. It is love. A man. lot of insight right there. I feel like it's just really real talk. It is like a lesson for a lot of people, bro. It really is because at the end of the day, like I feel like a lot of, especially in this younger generation. Man, y'all take too much stock in what folks saying online. Dog, mm-hmm. like for real. Too much stock, mm-hmm. dog. And I'm gonna because, be for real. Here's what's crazy. Yeah, nigga, I work in Hollywood, G. Yes, he does. So I'm so seeing. He, I'm he literally knows. in the room. They're saying this is exactly how the audience is gonna react to this move. I'm watching. I'm with the people that pull the hands to do these things. When we're not talking about ballers, certain things that come in the room on different businesses that the people in there run and this and that. This shit is being decided on. By people who have the ability to decide, and like I, I didn't been there, I didn't seen that, so I'm like, yo, I'm not taking like what marketing is saying, what what people is saying about this. I want to hear it from the source. I want to hear it from the player, from the guy, from the person that was there, right. not a motherfucker on a camera with a mic, however many miles away, saying that oh, this is like from bliss and that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I want to hear it from the source. Yeah. And until that's the case, I'm not. I'm not just gonna jump on it or go on it. Nah, thanks. Nah, yeah, you can't, you definitely can't believe all the headlines and shit. No, nah, real life, real life. Nah, fuck with yeah. Especially when it comes to a situation like that. No, nah, exactly. Like I said, I've always been a, like, nah, AB, like AB the football player, like, you can't. No, nah, yeah, for real. definitely you not. Can, you can't take nothing away from him nah, when he's not done a on damn the football field. Nah, like, like, he's for real. Not, boy. not real. a damn thing. You turn yeah. the film on, like you said, whether it's even in, when he got the temp, it wasn't nothing. It wasn't no, nothing. No, it wasn't that. It wasn't Same schedule program. 
Mm. No, like tear that shit up out there. Yeah. For real. Whew. Man, what was you got, shout, man? Shout out, yeah. I hope I, shout out to AB, man. That's, that's <laughs> no, really Because we, we, we all rock with him, bro. It was no, just, it's some bullshit to see that yeah. shit play out like yeah. that, for real. And you see how in just in real life and regular life, how like just people and regular people, even girls in the high school, like when somebody's speaking about you in a negative light, in a negative way, that don't feel good. Like uh-huh. people gossiping about you and yeah. like all this and that shit at some point, And it's like when it never relents, when it never stops and fades, that'll have some type of effect on you. So, and even the type of dude that he is, it's like, all right, y'all going to say I'm a bad guy enough? I didn't watch him kind of play and become bad guy, too. If that's no, part it, of his shit, all right, shit, I'm the bad guy, then, then nigga, happen. boo. Then I'm going to spook the shit out you, on, too. Oh, God. And, like, I like, guess it's made like that, too. Niggas made like that, too. So, it's just like, yo, you can't play with somebody. Everybody not playing. So, that's a cat that's not playing, too. Y'all niggas going to give me the fucking ball or what? Hey. That boy, sorry. Give me the fucking ball. Oh, Why is he saying that? Because he's Tom Brady. Yeah. But when Tom do it, it's fire. When A B do it is selfishness. Right, and they bro. both trying to win. Right. And they both got the capability to win. And they both carrying their team to a win. One is just I passion. don't see the fucking difference because I watch film. And one is like That's what I'm saying. Yeah, what's bro. the difference? Yeah. Damn, when A B was throwing that water cooler in Pittsburgh, time. what's the difference? Mm. He's he trying to win. He the best player on the field. He the field general. Motherfucker, get him the ball. He said, I'm still open. What y'all niggas doing? Oh my God. Jesus. <laughs> That's oh what God. I'm saying. All right, we got that go. shit makes we too much go. sense to me. Because we can't see it no more shit. Much sense. I don't need to see no DBs losing. It makes too much they, sense. They ankles and knees got this blood here, bro. Oh, my God, bro. Your knees got tight. Blind spot. Your groin got tight. Who's your fault, bro? Stop, nigga. I ain't never seen it. I ain't never seen no shit like that, bro. Come on now, bro. Nah, that's crazy as fuck. Shout out to A.B., Shout out uh, to big shout out to Rashard I'm in the hall. Shout out to Rashard, man. Sure. 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 the game, bro. Sure. Sure. Taking a long trip. Tap in with the boys, man. Appreciate yeah. you coming through. We appreciate man. the story. Nah, we we really didn't even get y'all. to touch on everything we wanted to, man. Bro, but we got to nah, get up good. out of here. We're going to have to do this again, bro. Got to. Appreciate Absolutely. the real room you love, man. <laughs> Thank y'all for tapping in. Y'all go get the merch, man. Where can we find you at before we get out of here? Oh, man, I'm on the socials. Yeah, I'm going to say your handle. Twitter, Insta, Facebook, YouTube. I'm over there. I'm going to say, you got to tell us your handle. Oh, um, at R, <laughs> R underscore Mendenhall. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. There. Yeah, sir. Yeah. Y'all tap in. Y'all tap in with the gang. Very talented. Ballers. Writer. He be, do be rapping on the side. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you hear me? He got bars. Big Try bars. to get better. Yeah. Uh, facts, facts. But yeah, we, t- we appreciate y'all tapping in, man. We out of here. Yes, hey. If you have something to say, need a place to help you say it, check out the boys at the Raw Room Media Group to get information on recording the session. Appreciate y'all for listening. Hey, follow us. Follow us at The Raw Room, Twitter, Instagram. Follow me at Wesson underscore Sun 56 on Instagram. On Twitter, DB underscore 5 Trey. Follow your boy, JC. Uh, JCar underscore 11, Twitter. Uh, Instagram, JCar underscore 32. Uh, and the, the Raw Room is at Raw underscore underscore room. Roomies, we appreciate y'all for listening. We'll tune in for your next week. Peace. Peace.